I believe in fiscal responsibility. Seriously? The UK is uninvestable because of UK government chaos. That's according to strategist Joachim Clement at investment bank Libero. Now, the feedback we get from investors is that they consider the UK uninvestable as long as there's such government chaos. Now, Liz Truss's wild first month saw policies and U-turns that resulted in £300 billion being wiped from the nation's stock and bond market. Other investors see the disorder as an opportunity because shares have become cheap. It gets better. The Conservative party will always be the party of low taxes. That of course is also complete bollocks. We've currently got the highest tax rates for 70 years in our country. In fact the Conservative Party broke its own manifesto pledge not to raise taxes. Read my lips we will not be raising taxes. And now the con continues. The Institute for Fiscal Studies has found that households will actually lose more over the next three years than they will gain from Tory cuts to personal taxes. Households will lose £2 in a government stealth tax raid for every £1 gained under Liz Truss's plans. The Prime Minister's mini-budget included reductions in national insurance contributions and a 1p cut to the basic rate of income tax. But these cuts come during a four-year freeze to income tax thresholds. You have dragged very low earners into the 20% tax bracket and before they didn't pay any tax. And many other tax and benefit thresholds and values are frozen indefinitely. These freezes far more than outweigh the government's headline policies like a 1p cut to the basic rate of income tax or the reversal of the health and social care levy and are set to drag millions more into the tax system. It's just giving with one hand and taking away with the other. I know this is what people want to see. 